गुड आफ्टरनून स्टूडेंट्स रिफ्लेक्शन ऑफ लाइट ऑन द स्टेन बोर्ड वी नो हाउ दैट लाइट इज अ फॉर्म ऑफ एनर्जी विदाउट एनी मेटल मीडियम लाइट कैन ट्रैवल फ्रॉम वन मीडियम टू अनदर मीडियम द वेलोसिटी ऑफ लाइट इन दैट मीन्स to 10 power 8 meter per second light always travels in a straight line these are the properties of light these are the properties of light next one beam of light so beam of light means the number of light rays or the collection of light rays is called a beam of light so a beam of light can be divide into two types so beam of light means the number of light rays beam of light means the number of light rays or the collection of light rays is called a beam of light so a beam of light can be divided into three types parallel beam of light parallel beam of light convergent beam of light convergent beam of light and the third one divergent beam of light divergent beam of light listen beam of light means the number of light rays or the collection of light rays or the group of light rays group of light rays group of light rays and the collection of light rays is called beam of light so beam of light can be divided into three types parallel beam of light convergent beam of light and divergent beam of light so here yeah, first one parallel beam of light first one parallel beam of light okay listen parallel beam of light so parallel beam of light means the number of light rays moving parallel to each other the number of light rays moving parallel to each other that is called a parallel beam of light so the number of light rays the number of light rays moving parallel to each other the number of light rays moving parallel to each other that is called a parallel beam of light next one convergent beam of light convergent beam of so convergent beam of light means the number of light rays coming from the different different directions but meet at a single point that is called a convergent beam of light is in the number of light rays coming from the different different directions but meet at a single point meet at a single point that is called a convergent beam of light listen see here the number of light rays coming from the different different directions but meet at a single point that meet at a single point that is called a that is called a convergent beam of light it is the diagram of the convergent beam of listen the number of light rays moving parallel to each other is called a parallel beam of light so convergent beam of light means the number of light rays coming from the different different directions and meet at a single point that is called a convergent beam of light last one so divergent beam of light so divergent beam of light means the number of light rays going from the from the single point to different directions from the single point from the single point light rays are going to different different directions that is called a divergent beam of light 
divergent beam of light results right here from this given point it is this force of the light from this point light waves going to different areas it is a divergent beam of light divergent beam of light okay next one reflection so what is mean by reflection what is mean by reflection so reflection means a ray of light inside on a plane mirror a ray of light inside on a plane mirror it is reflected back into the same medium is called a reflection reflection means a ray of light a ray of light inside on a plane mirror it is reflected back into the same medium it is called a reflection a ray of light incident on a plane mirror incident on a a ray of light incident on a plane mirror it reflects back into the back into the same medium reflect back into the same medium is called a reflection is called a reflection so yeah reflection can be divided into two types one is regular reflection and the second one is irregular reflection regular reflection and the irregular reflection listen once again a ray of light incident on a plane mirror it is reflected back into the same medium it is called a reflection so a reflection can be divided into two types one is regular reflection and irregular reflection okay a ray of light for example it is a reflective surface or mirror okay now a ray of light incident on a plane mirror it is reflected back into the same medium is called a reflection for example a o b it is a m m dash is a mirror or reflective surface from this diagram a o is called a incident ray o b is called a reflected ray from the diagram from the diagram from the diagram here ao is called a incident ray ao is a incident ray incident ray and ob ob is called a reflected ray here ob is called a reflected ray here o is called a point of incidence here o is called a point of incidence listen once again a ray of light incident on a plane mirror it is reflected back into the same medium is called a reflection so a reflection can be divided into two types one is regular reflection and irregular reflection from the diagram it is a smooth surface or reflecting surface it is a plane mirror as you wish a ray of light incident on a plane mirror it is reflected back into the same medium is called a reflection so a reflection can be divided into two types regular reflection and irregular reflection from the diagram here a is called a incident ray and o is called a reflected ray o is called a reflected ray
Reflection of Light Have you observed the path of light when it strikes the mirror or wall in daily life? Does it move along straight line path or changes its direction? Definition When light ray strikes the boundary of two media such as air and glass, a part of light is turned back into the same medium. This is called reflection of light. A highly polished surface, such as a mirror, reflects most of the light falling on it. Loss of reflection. 1. The angle of incidence is equal to the angle of reflection. And 2. The incident ray, normal to the mirror at the point of incidence, and the reflected ray all lie in the same plane. These laws are applicable to all types of reflecting surfaces, including spherical surfaces. Types of reflection The types of reflection are regular reflection and irregular or diffused reflection. Regular reflection It occurs when a beam of light falls on a smooth and polished surface, such as a plane mirror. Irregular reflection. It occurs when a beam of light falls on a rough surface, such as wall of a room. Incident ray. Light ray striking a reflecting surface. Points of incidence. The point at which the incident ray strikes the reflecting surface. Reflected ray. The light ray obtained after reflection from the surface in the same medium in which the incident ray is traveling. Normal. The perpendicular drawn to the surface at the point of incidence. Angle of incidence. The angle which the incident ray makes with the normal at the point of incidence. It is denoted by the letter I. Angle of reflection. The angle which the reflected ray makes with the normal at the point of incidence. It is denoted by the letter R. Plane of incidence. The plane containing the incident ray and the normal. Plane of reflection. The plane containing the reflected ray and the normal. How do we see things around us? You would probably say it's the eyes that help us to see the objects around us. But will our eyes be able to see these objects in dark? No, we need light to see things. Without light, we cannot see the objects. But where is this light coming from? This light is coming from this source which is a fluorescent bulb. You see that this bulb is emitting its own light. The objects which emit their own light are called luminous objects. Can you give me any other examples? Incandescent light bulb, the sun, the stars are also luminous objects. What about objects such as this table and chair? Do they emit their own light? No, these objects do not emit their own light. Such objects are called non-luminous. Almost everything around us is non-luminous. Objects made up of wood, plastic, cotton, metal are all non-luminous. What about the moon and the planets? They are also non-luminous. But if the moon is non-luminous, then how come we are able to see it at night? The answer to this is reflection of light. The reason we are able to see any non-luminous objects around us is because of the reflection of light. Reflection of light can simply be referred to as change in direction of light or bouncing of light from some surface. Just like the ball bounces from the ground, light reflects off from a smooth surface. Let me try to explain this in a simple way. The light from the source strikes the object and bounces off from its surface. And when this light reaches our eyes, we see that object. And this is how we see non-luminous objects. When the object is kept in front of the mirror, its image is formed in it. But will we be able to see the image in the dark? No, we won't. So the formation of the image is also due to reflection of light. 
let this object be our human body so at the same time we are looking at the image first tell me is our body a luminous or a non-luminous object well it's non-luminous human body cannot emit its own light so the light from the source is first incident on the human body it gets reflected from it and this reflected light strikes the mirror this light is further reflected from the surface of the mirror and reaches our eyes. This is how we are able to see our image. Now obviously, this is not the exact picture of the happenings. I just wanted to give you the intuitive feeling into how this happens. There are a lot of subtleties involved which we will learn in our higher grades.
Here things and trace are parallel. These are the instant trace. These are the instant trace. Here instant trace are parallel to each other. Here instant trace are parallel to each other. But here reflected rays are not parallel. But reflected rays are not parallel. That is called a irregular reflection. So rough surface is the irregular reflection. So we see if the surface of the window glass is smooth due to the regular reflection, we can produce see the our image. Okay. But if the surface of the window glass is rough, but if the surface of the window glass is rough due to the irregular reflection, we can't find our image, or we find unclear image in the dark mirror. Okay, it is about irregular reflection. Now. Next one, apparent re reflection, we have some definitions, it is the instant ray, it is the reflected ray, yep. O is called a point of incidence, so from this diagram, AO is the instant ray and OB is the reflected ray. A perpendicular line drawn into the point of incidence. A perpendicular line drawn into the point of incidence. That is called a normal line. Indicated with the letter N. Indicated with the letter N. Okay. It is the angle of incidence. The angle between the incident ray and the normal line is called a angle of incidence. Okay. Here, next one, the angle between a reflected ray and a normal line that is called a angle of reflection indicated with a small r. Now, it is a reflecting surface among M M' is a reflecting surface or mirror. Here, M M' is a mirror or a reflecting surface. Okay, now, the angle between the angle between incident ray and a reflective surface that is called a glancing angle of incidence indicated with the IZ. The angle between reflected ray and a reflective surface that is called a glancing angle of reflection indicated with the RZ. From the diagram. From the diagram, from the diagram, the angle between angle between normal line, normal line, and incident. Incident ray is called the angle of incidence. Angle of incidence. It is divided by I. Okay, next so the angle between angle between normal line and the reflected ray. Is called a reflected ray, is called a angle of reflection. Angle of reflection. It is denoted by letter R. Okay, next one. The angle between a reflecting surface and an incident ray. Next one. Angle between Incident ray and the incident ray and the reflecting surface. And the incident ray and the reflecting surface is called a glancing angle of 
transient that is IZ is IZ. Next one angle between reflected ray reflected ray and the reflected surface.
then angle of incidence is equal to is equal to zero the means here i equal to 0 degrees if a ray of light incident not away then angle of incident is equal to 0 therefore r also 0 because of angle of incidence is equal to the angle of reflection it is the incident ray diagram now it is the reflected ray diagram ok is a ray of light incident on the line of millimeter, angle of incident is equal to angle of reflection equal to zero. Angle of incident is equal to the angle of reflection equal to zero. Here we know that I plus from this I plus I is equal to 90 degrees. Here I is equal to zero. Zero plus I is equal to 90 degrees, therefore I is equal to 90 degrees, therefore R is also 90 degrees, because the angle of incident is equal to the angle of reflection. Okay. Thank you.